hopefully you can hear me all right over the sound of the 77 and hopefully you can see me all right not like it really does matter all that much because i'm just going to be yammering on for a little bit anyways i've been wanting to do an update video for you guys since about january or so so four or five months ago and give you an update on what's been going on i made a pretty big change back in december and right now i am currently in i think <laughs> i think the middle of wyoming i just went through the big um bighorn national forest and the mountains and everything incredible scenery and of course i'm doing it all in the 77 gmc k25 pickup that i own i've had this truck since may of 2018 i've always wanted to do a cross-country road trip in an old gm truck and see the country through the windshield of an old pickup so i'm doing just that the short version of it which i haven't really gotten down pat yet but i closed up jake's general repair i made the decision at the end of december in 2023 uh, i got i had plenty of work in new england steady incredible business everything was going well i mean i've been doing that since 2016 full-time and 2011 uh, on the side. So about 13 years now I've been working for myself, I think, if my math is correct. But I was getting sick of living in Massachusetts. Uh, I couldn't find the life that I wanted there. I had plenty of work and business was good. But folks, the money and career success doesn't make a difference if you don't have an enjoyable life to I don't know, back it up with is the right word for it, or a life that you can enjoy the fruits of your labor with. I didn't have that in New England, despite friends, family, all the tractor shows and the hobbies and all that stuff that I was doing. Uh, it just wasn't what I wanted. So I've been kind of romancing the West for years now. It just, it feels right to me inside here. So that's why I'm headed out here for the summer. I took a job as a mechanic at a dude ranch so I'm going to work out here for a while and see how I like it. And if I enjoy it, I figured I'd stay and see where life takes me. And a lot of people that I told about this said, oh, you got really big nuts for doing that and this and that for closing up your business and just getting your truck and leaving. Well, I'll try not to get too philosophical on you guys. I'm sorry I keep spitting too. I'm kind of yelling because of the, the uh, noise of the truck. But folks, it's really not that hard to do if you just follow your heart and what you really want in life and what really makes you happy. And that's why I ended up doing it. And it was just, it was so easy once I made the decision to close down my business. I sold off about two thirds of my equipment. I still have a lot of my collection. I got a lot of parts, but it's been greatly reduced. I didn't get a chance to take pictures of it and go around out back, but a lot of it is gone. It was just unnecessary junk. Uh, I sold a lot of it off. I scrapped just over 10,000 pounds of equipment, but it was all junk that I was hanging on to. Nothing usable. Even if you revamped it, it wasn't usable because I'm really bad about hanging on to everything I can. But this was all just trash, so that all got scrapped. Uh, I sold my 64 GMC pickup that I started to restore back in 15 and 16. That's gone. I went to a good home up in New Hampshire older guy who was going to restore it put it in his collection so i'm just down to the 77 which i'm in right now the 88 one ton the 79 service truck and of course the 61 gmc and those are all back in central massachusetts parked awaiting for shipment to wyoming <laughs> if i ever stay out here so it's been a very stressful and busy four months getting ready for this uh, I will say I'm happier this week driving out than I have been in a long, long time, folks. I'm very tired right now. I've been on the road since Monday, and it's currently... That's how long I've been on the road for. <laughs> it's currently Friday. Uh, it's got to be about 11 o'clock or something, mountain time. Went through two time zones getting out here. So, it's been a long week. But I've been the most relaxed and happy this week heading out to Wyoming than I have felt in years running my business and living back in central Massachusetts and New England. So I think that really 
kind of tells myself something right there. So I don't really know what else I can toss into here. I did take a lot of footage on the way out of scenery and driving and pictures and all that. So I think I'm going to put another video up after this that's just going to be cross country road trip in the 77 GMC or something like that. And you guys can just kind of watch through it, click through it, whatever you're going to do. But I did want to put this update video up for all of you to see because I've been pretty sparse with videos. And some people have said I can keep making them out here, but the job that I'm taking, I don't want to film any of their stuff, and they're probably not going to have old equipment. Actually, I know that they're not going to have old equipment. So, I did take some of the videos off of my computer because I have my laptop with me, ones that haven't been uploaded yet on stuff that I worked on, and then I filmed the startup video ahead of time for you guys. So. Over the course of the summer, those will go up. The driving video in the 77 cross country here will go up. So you guys will have that. And we'll just kind of take it from there. I don't know what's going to be in store for the life of Jake over the next year. And I don't know what's going to be in store for the channel of Five Tractor Guy. So we'll see what happens with all that. Aside from that, the 77's been doing great. I put a lot of work into this thing before I took it out here. Rebuilt the front end. The rear end got all new brakes. Uh, let's see, it got 16 inch wheels. I finally converted over from 16 fives. I put brand new Firestone Destination XTs on it. A little more aggressive tread, really happy with them. They're expensive, but they're worth it and they look good on this truck. Uh, let's see, the engine was all serviced, drivetrain was all serviced. It got New Hampshire oil undercoated did that in the driveway that was a three and a half hour process but I figured if I have to stay out here or want to stay out here over the winter at least it's all undercoated I had the bench seat redone of course it was redone <laughs> could have been a little bit better the springs were never fixed the guy said he fixed them and packed it with foam but I can tell you right now that it needs to be done again because I've been my flannel shirt's been behind me or I've been sitting on my other dungaree jacket for part of the ride because the support just ain't there, but that'll get done again in due time. And I made a spare tire holder for the back of it. I put a toolbox in the back with all my supplies and tools and things I might need. And then of course the cab over here has got my duffel bags and all my personal stuff in it. And it's been doing great. It has to get rejetted for the altitude out here. But aside from that, most of the trip I was doing 12 and a half. 12 miles to the gallon and I'm probably doing about 11 now at the altitude and I think we've done about I'd have to make a rough guess but 2300 miles so far and it's been doing great I'm very happy with it so I finally get to do two things that I've been thinking about for a long time one cross-country road trip in an old truck and two finally getting out to see the west and I guess not to get wishy-washy folks, but to just find my place in life. All I've ever done since high school is work that job at Jake's General Repair. Well, run my business, I guess. I worked job, two jobs out of high school. I've always lived in my parents' house and just worked, and that's it. And done pretty well for myself, and it's time to get out there and just kind of see where life takes me instead of trying to plan it out all the time, because as much as I planned it, folks, it just never never always went the way I wanted it to, but work was the only consistent, the only constant, that's the word for it. <laughs> and uh, I was getting pretty tired of that. So anyways, that's an update video for you. I'm going to keep tooling along here. I'm going to be making, uh, let's see, I'm not going to be in Yellowstone, but that mountain range over there is what my destination is. I'm not going to tell you just where it is, but out that way. It's it's pretty country in Wyoming, and I didn't want to be out in the flatlands. Drove through enough of that. I really just, I like the mountains, and I like the hills and all that, so that's where we're headed. Anyways, folks, as time goes, I'll probably put up another update video for you. Keep an eye out for the driving cross-country video in the 77. We'll have some pictures and a lot of shots through the windshield driving along and tooting along in this thing. And in uh, due time, there'll be some archive footage, and well, we'll see what this year brings. So, anyways, folks, till next time, there you have it.